Hey guys, if you're looking for a great new day hike backpack, I got a great recommendation coming up. Hey guys, Phil Long here for Sawback Gear. If you like all things outdoors like rock climbing, camping, backpacking, and mountaineering, you gotta stick around. So please subscribe, check the like button, and watch for more videos coming up. Okay guys, so today we're gonna to be talking about the Osprey Talon 22 Day Hike Backpack. This is a great backpack. We're gonna talk about first the basic features of the pack. I'm gonna talk about the things that I like about it and why I chose this pack. And then I'm gonna talk about the things about that I wish that they would change. So stick around and watch the whole video. So first of all, this is a really great day hike backpack. It uh, holds 22 liters, which is a fair amount. You can get your basic uh, gear in here, plus a few snacks, your water bottles, that kind of thing. And it holds it really, really well. It's got enough pouches all over. It's got a stretchy pouch on the back. It's got two stretchy pouches on either side for your water bottles. It's also got a couple of features I don't really need, but come in handy if this is what you're looking for. It's got a, a little attachment here to put on a helmet. If you ride bicycles, you can use that. We found it doesn't really work great for climbing helmets, but you could always try. It also has a strap in the bottom for your ice axe. Slide that sucker in there, roll it up, and it has a clip up here to keep it out of the way. The pouches on the side hold a one liter uh, water bottle just fine. You can see how well it comes up and holds that in place so it's not gonna fall out while you're hiking around. The back straps are really well designed and very comfortable to wear. It does have an exterior water bladder sleeve so you don't have to be opening up your pack to get your water bladder in and out. It's also got this really handy pouch on the strap, which is really great because I tend to wear reading glasses when I have to. It's a great place for me to put my reading glasses when I don't need them so that they're out of the way, but they're nearby when I need to reach for them. It's got two zippered pouches. One in the main pouch is a large pouch that's gonna keep your jacket and your rain gear, things like that out of the way. And another smaller one for things like your sunglasses or little small items, keys, wallet, that kind of stuff out of the way up at the top. It does have an internal frame on it, gives a little bit more rigidity and a sheet in the back to help keep your back cool when you're hiking. It does add a little bit more weight though, so be aware of that. It's not gonna be a really ultra lightweight day hiking backpack. So here's one of the main reasons I chose this backpack. I have, a, on my shoulders, I have a higher tendon, I guess, or the muscles. And when I wear a regular backpack that just has a little strap around it to keep it from moving around, it tends to wear out after a while and I get tired and your shoulders get tired and moving the straps around and I don't like that. So I really needed something that was going to have a waist strap with some, with some good support to keep that on my, the weight on my hips where it belongs, makes it easier to carry and I can carry this thing all day long very comfortably. On the waist belt too, it's got two separate uh, pouches. You can carry your small items like chapstick or sunscreen in one and a couple of snacks in the other so you can keep moving. The pack has all the, the adjustments of a larger backpack too. It's obviously got the waist strap for around your waist uh, that cinches very nicely and is very easy to adjust to get it to the right configuration for you. It has the adjustment straps on the shoulder straps. It does have a sternum strap with a little whistle. And one of the things I thought was a little puzzling, I'm not sure why you would need this in a day pack, but they put them on anyway. It's actually got load lifters on here to help keep it closer to your back if you need to, or, or loosen it up if you're going up or down hills, whatever's gonna make it more comfortable for you. I don't know if that's necessary. It may have been a little overkill, but it might work for you. Okay, so one of the things that I really wish that they would have done uh, a little better, they do have these compression straps on the side at the bottom, help pull your gear in to keep it from moving around inside the bag, which is great. But I really wish that they would have put something up here too to, for the same thing, compression straps to pull it in just a little bit more on either side. Also, possibly a daisy chain to if you needed to strap any gear that you might have loose to the pack itself. It might have been a helpful addition to that. And last not least, and this is kind of a little nitpicky thing, but when you're putting the ice axe in, it has a tendency to flop around a little bit. When the ice axe is in this configuration, if you're carrying one for a day hike, uh, there's nothing here to keep this portion of the, the axe from flopping around, which can be a little annoying. I really wish they would have put some type of little pick sleeve at the bottom to keep that from flapping around. But there is a little loop down here where you could probably put a little uh, Velcro or something that effect to help keep it out of the way. So while that's a little nitpicky thing, 
Uh, you are paying a reasonable amount of money for this pack. It's something that I hope Osprey considers in the future. Overall, I love this pack. Uh, I wasn't sure when I first bought it if I was going to, and it, it's actually performed extremely well. By the way, it only weighs one pound, 11 ounces. So by the time you load it up with stuff, it's, it carries maybe 10 pounds very comfortably, maybe even like up to 12 or 13 very comfortably because again of that waist strap. And I thought that was a really great addition for me because again, I hate having really sore shoulders or really getting fatigued like that uh, when I'm hiking. Okay, so my question of the day for you guys is, what's your favorite day pack and why? Tell us why in the comments below. Also, remember to hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already done that, hit the like button and we'll see you outside.